Senator Abba Moro, representing Benue South Senatorial District, has emerged as the Senate Minority Leader. Senate President Gautola Pavio made the announcement on Tuesday after he was nominated by the opposition People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the Senate and subsequently affirmed. However, there was uproar in the upper chamber of the National Assembly following the announcement of Senator Osita Ungu, representing Enugu West, as the new Senate Minority Whip. More details in this report. The Senate is in receipt of two documents signed by the Minority Caucus of the Senate, and this is a resolution of the minorities in favor of Senator Abba Moro. And having seen that he has about 41 signatories to his credit as majority, uh, minority leader of the Senate. I therefore have the privilege to announce that the senior Senator Abba Moro be moved forward as a minority leader of the Senate. That announcement of the minority leader and minority whip created a rowdy session in the upper chamber of the Senate on Tuesday. Labour Party Senator representing Enugu North, Okechukwu Izia, and Senator Tony Nwoyi representing Anambra North expressed their displeasure at the Senate President for choosing leaders for the minority caucus. Are we your slaves? The way you elected was the way you were elected. Are we your slaves? How you can suspend me here? Are we your slaves? Every time you keep on picking leadership for us. We are not your slaves. Whether you like it or not, the way you elected was the way you were elected. We are not your slaves. The position of minority whip to have to schedule another meeting because he has to shade equitably. There is no way we have four seats for minorities in this Senate and a PDP will take three of the seats. The next party is Labour Party with seven senators and we get nothing. That is unfair, that is unjust, that is inequitable and is against the spirit of the Nigerian constitution. Addressing the lawmakers' grievances, the Senate president sympathizes with the minority parties, pointing out that the Senate can only work with documents submitted. In my front, I have two papers. Majority of the senators, I'm sure, I believe some are still signing, because not all of you have signed for Senator Bamoro, but he already has the majority. It would be unfair for me to ignore the majority signatures and not announce him as your uh, minority whip for now. At the same time, a minority leader, it would also be unfair for me to see somebody who has majority. And what he actually needs will be like maybe 24 or 25 senators, and he has up to 30. And then I will not announce it. So it doesn't matter your personal reservations. I just want to plead with my colleagues to understand that my job here is not to take individual opinions or to work on the basis of what is convenient to you, but to work on the basis of truth. So this issue of minority leader or minority whip is for now rested until you produce an alternative paper in future. Tomorrow, a two-time senator took over the position from Senator Simon Madwan who was removed by the appeal courts.